favourite song on the album is Heflin. And if Ian was, Campbell is watching this, Heflin is not the German translation of Halfling. No. <laughs> no, it means it means prisoner. Um, but it's got a slight diminutive sense um, to it as well because of the Ling um, on the end. Heftling. Um, and yeah, it was the second song on the album in German and the second song I ever wrote in German. Having I was doing a um, German literature paper last year and one of the books we read was uh, Marie Stuart by Friedrich Schiller and it was about Mary Queen of Scots but you know from her perspective you know not painted in the English way as, as the villain but really the kind of the the fallen protagonist you know really painted a very sad story about about her situation and, and, it's, and the, the, it's really about her last three days and it, and it, it did move me and so I thought um, you know, it's about time for another Calican song in German, and um, so I just started working on that. And I had some some German friends at the time proofread it. I mean, I'm yeah, I've got a degree in German, but I I, I never <laughs> I never I'm never sure I'm never sure about um, about you know some about about certain about 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 lyrics. I always have people I have native speakers check it. So apparently, it's all correct and all kosher. Please it came at a good phone. time making What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was my phone. Fucking Christian Bale ringtone. Yeah, Bale ringtone. <laughs> um, Bale tone. Bale tone. Um, All right, you can play with me that song. Um, but yeah, um, oh, it's old. Hitler was written... It was usually yeah. written about the same time as Labyrinth, which was... ...close to years ago now, actually. You'd be kidding, though. I've been listening to a lot of um, the likes of sort of Demi Borger and stuff at the time, but also um, I was really into um, sort of Greenville and some other stuff like that. And so for me, it was kind of this big yeah. opportunity to kind of um, you know merge dance music and big symphonic stuff and a bit of metal and just kind of throw it all together into this big loud driving cacophony. And, in the, in, the, in the ferocity of the, of the, of the German vocals, um, I think mm. leanness itself to that, and I think uh, all those things together contribute to making it mm. arguably the, the heaviest song on the album. It's fine, mm. headbang and throw up the horns. Mm. Mm. It's um, particularly challenge, um, it's a particular challenge to, to perform vocally. Um, it's always a strain, I, it always has to be very early on in the set list. I need, I need full command of my voice to be able to pull that one off. Um, and that little cheesy key change at the end is, is always shit that's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Anton? Um, well, uh, Heffling is one of the one of the tracks that I um, uh, contribute to creatively. The guitar lick during the solo, that's, that's mine, and also the ego work during some of the instrumental sections. And um, so it's one of the few tracks on the album that I've actually featured in. So I'm pretty pleased about that. But it's but it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to play live. Like it's it's um you know I get to show off a little bit. It's quite cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a fun song. Yeah. And you still do live exactly what you did on the recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same. Mm. I owe so much of that song to these two patches on my synthesizer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I suppose that that song would be impossible to do without that synth module. Yeah, um, it's a real old uh, Roland JB1010. I know it's not old, old, but it's, um, I don't want to call it vintage, but it's, <laughs> um, no, it's a cool little little module. I've got to tip my hat to Brad for this one because I, I admire the structure, I like the symmetry of the song. And I think it's unpredictable, and I think that adds to the, the, um, the energy of when we perform it live and audience energy and all that sort of thing because um, there's sort of a symmetry to the structure but it's not quite not quite predictable you don't know which section is coming up next it's, mm. it's right. one of the fastest songs in the album isn't it it is it is the fastest at 135 BPM. <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> whoa whoa <laughs> <Hey>. fucking gabba <laughs>